The state of Texas put $37 million toward a program to help reduce childhood obesity. However, a newly released study finds that the program failed to impact the rate of obese kids in our school system. Action Force Ashley Custer has more. Obesity is a growing problem and the Rio Grande Valley is no exception. It's very prominent down here. I see it more often than you may think. Um, so kids ranging from, from 2 you know, to 10, 15, 19, even in your adolescent stage as well, um, coming in with diabetes or high cholesterol, high triglycerides. These are all risk factors of heart disease as well. At such a young age, you know, it's, it's very heartbreaking to see. Dietitian Peggy Ramon says she has overweight children referred to her office on a regular basis. And just in our heritage, we have a lot of a lot of diet staples, our, our tortillas, our beans, our rice. These are predominantly carbohydrates. And um, depending on the actual quality of these carbohydrates, they can be a lot of simple carbohydrates versus the more complex ones. The complex ones are going to help us stay fuller longer. Because complex carbs have a better source of fiber. Ramon says preparation also plays a big role in healthy eating, for example, beans. Whether they're adding more grease to it, whether they're frying it or refrying it, we can definitely eliminate that. Kind of mashing them ourselves, putting some good, you know, natural herbs and spices into it, minus all the fat, all the saturated fat. The state of Texas is also trying to combat childhood obesity. It spent $37 million on a four-year grant program aimed to reduce obesity through physical education. Texas Fitness Now, which started in 2007, provided grant money to low-income middle schools. According to the Texas Education Agency, for 2000. 2010 to 2011, every school district in the Rio Grande Valley, with the exception of South Texas ISD, received funds. A study conducted by researchers at the University of Texas at Austin found that the majority of money was spent on sports and fitness equipment. And while it increased strength, especially in girls, it did not reduce obesity. The TEA released this statement to Action 4, quote, while the results may not be what we all would have hoped for, many middle schools in some of the poorest areas of our state were able to acquire the needed fitness equipment, end quote. Ramon says exercise is important, but physical activity alone isn't going to cut it. Everything is about balance. People often uh, say, you know, 80 percent nutrition, 20 percent physical activity. Um, calories in, calories out in order to help lose weight. So we can eat all the calories we want and exercise all the amount of, 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 of time that, that, we, that we may have, but they have to go, they have to go hand in hand. You have to balance, you have to have a balanced lifestyle in order to, to lose the weight and kind of meet your goals. Ashley Custer, Action 4 News. Ramon says that as a result of the Affordable Care Act, about 95% of her patients do not have to pay anything to see her, adding that a healthy diet can prevent many types of health conditions and diseases. So see a nutritionist falling into the preventative care category, which is typically covered by most insurances.